welcome back guys so in the last lecture we created our enemy spawner so now let's create our object pulling script so go to scripts folder right click and create a new c sharp script and name it object pulling now double click on the script to open it let's create a new empty game object reset the position and rename it to object pooling and drag our object pooling script on it now we are going to use our object pooling script to create the our enemies which will be spawning in our game repeatedly and this way helps to improve the game performance and efficiency of it so let's start coding so the first thing we need is a class so let's create a class public class object pool items and here we will store some values like public string name of our object public int pool amount and it will decide how many objects we can spawn then public game object pool object and it will store reference to the prefab and public bool should expand and this bool will expand or create more objects if required so let's make it serializable so system dot serializable so that we can see it in our inspector so now let's create a list and to use list in a c sharp you have to include system dot collections dot generic library and now we can use public list and it will be a list of object pool items and we will name it items to pool this is the list where we will store our items references like their name prefabs and all that then we have a private list game object pool objects now we are using list for pool objects is because list can be modified at a run time whereas array cannot be modified so instead of list we can use array here because our items to pool is not going to be changed we are going to set it before our game starts so we will get, create an array because array use less performance than list whereas here we are using list so that we can increase or decrease our list as per our requirement okay now if you go back to our editor select object pooling you can see we have our items to pool li list here so let's set the size to 3 as we have only three enemies and let's first will be our enemy 1 so let's name it enemy 1 and we want two clones of enemy 1 to be spawn and let's give reference to the prefab and should expand should be true and same thing for others too let's 1 3 and we will just drag enemy 2 and enemy 3 here and rename it to enemy 2 and enemy 3 so we have our array filled uh, let's go back to our script and start we will say pool object equal to new list and we want our list to be empty at the start of our game and then we will call for each loop and the type will be our object pool items item in items to pool 
in items to pool and now we will loop through number of items dot pool amount so we will loop through pool amount and we will spawn that many number of objects so we will say game object object is equal to instantiate and we will instantiate the respective pool object you can see the pool object is this prefab here which we have assigned and now we will name the object so object dot name is equal to item dot name we will say this parent so object dot transform dot parent is equal to this dot transform and we want the objects to be child of this game object on which our object pooling script is attached then we will deactivate the objects so object dot set active to false because we don't want them to be active at the start of our game and we will add them to our list so pool click pool objects dot add and we will add object now if we go to our editor and let's play you can see here we have all our three enemies as a child of our object pooling as you can see each of the enemies have two clones as we have specified in pool amount that is two for each of them now let's go back to our editor we don't want update method so we can just remove it now let's create a new method public game object get pool object and we will pass a string variable name and this game object method will return a method so let's by default return null now we will loop through all the pool objects so we will use for loop and we will loop through pool objects dot count and we will check that if pool object i dot active in hierarchy is equal to false and pool objects i dot name is what we want then we return the pool object at i so what this is doing is so when we call this method from other scripts we pass a name of an object and then in the for loop we loop through all the objects and we check if the object at i index is not active in hierarchy and it has the name which we require then we return the object at that index and let's say if uh, we want enemy one three times and we only have two clones of our enemy one so now we want to create more enemy one so what we'll do is we'll call for each loop again and we can just copy this and paste it here and now instead of for loop we will call if item dot pool object dot name is equal to name so so in the for each loop we are looping through all the items in our items to pool list and we are checking if any of the item has a name which we require then we instantiate a new item of that category or that name we then rename it then we set its parent deactivate it and add it to our list and then we return the item so now our object pooling script is complete so let make it an instance so public static object pooling instance and and this will make sure that only a single instance is available in the scene so let's change it to awake and let's say 
if instance is equal to null instance equal to this okay now our script is ready so let's go back and let it compile and let's play again and you can see our enemies are spawning so now let's go back to our enemy spawner and in our enemy spawner we are instantiating our enemies in spawn enemy method so we will just remove this code here we don't want it anymore and we will also remove this enemy prefab references because we don't need them anymore and now we'll create a new variable called string and we'll name it enemy name and it will be nothing right now and we will say if our r is equal to zero our enemy name will be equal to enemy one and else if our r is equal to one our enemy will be two and else if our r is two our enemy will be three and we are using string so that we can get the respective enemy which we want by supplying string value to our get pool object method so we will say object pooling dot instance dot get pool objects and we will provide the string value that is enemy name and we will store this object in a new game object variable name enemy which is equal to this then we will set its transform so enemy dot transform dot position is equal to new vector 3 and that will be our expose from our transform dot position dot y from our z which will be 0 and then we will just activate our enemy so enemy dot set active is equal to true and now let's go back and check if it's working or not so let's play and we have our enemies here so let's tap on the screen here and you can see our enemies are spawning and you can see here if more enemies are required we are spawning more enemies or else we are just reusing the enemies you can see the enemies are activating and deactivating as per requirement so now we have our object pooling script ready and now we can say our game is very much optimized so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next lecture